What's good guys, let's get back here for game two of Googly versus Karen Smith, straight out of Doc's basement. Um yeah. So let's see, let's let's break down the teams again. Oh, Doc's really not keeping it the same sides. What are you doing, Doc? Um but yeah. Oh no, he's switching sides. It's all good, it's all good. Alright, so looking at Karen's team, uh Victini. It could be a choice set, bandit or scarf, but uh, it's actually a very massive threat to Google team. It kind of destroys him because if he has a move to hit Heatran and Hydreigon, then um, that could definitely be a very like uh, Doc. Where are you doing? Where are you doing, Doc? Where are you doing? Okay. Um, that that's a very big threat to Google team. And if he's the Z move celebrate set, it just six O's him. It just six O's Googly. All he needs to do is get rocks up to chip down. Landorus, um, Landorus, Hydreigon, and Heatran, just like two rounds of rocks on each of them, I think, put them in range of whatever attack Victini has, as long as it was Focus Blast. Uh, once again, uh, this Landorus is probably rocks. It's his own, It's the only rocker on uh, Karen's team. So that means it's probably a uh, uh, breaking Lele, or it could be Scar for speed control, probably Ashgren for spikes, Mega Zam to take advantage of Psychic Terrain along with Halucha. So Karen's just bringing a very offensive team with like four, like five hard hitters and a Landers, which if it's Z-Move <laughs> could also be a hard hitter. Uh, Googly's just bringing kind of standard shit with a Hydreigon. Um, but yeah, like Karen's prep has been so on point with the fire offensive fire types. It's just destroying Google's team. Uh, probably Specs or Zemo Bruce Hydreigon, but probably Specs on this. Uh, Rocks Heatran uh, could also be Zemo. Uh, probably Scarf Landris, although it could also be Rocks. Uh, probably Spadef SD uh, Tapu Bulu Defog uh, Rocky Helmet Torn could also be Z Fly. And then either Curzor or SD. Um, so yeah. Sorry, I had to pause this because Doc's just like... Because we had to record off of the Doc's recording. And then he records that. So it's like, weird. But anyway, Karen just leaves with Landers. Probably just to get the rocks up because he needs that chip. Ops to take a pulse. It does a lot, but not that much. I get two KOs, but I don't think that specs damage. I do a quick calc on the side. Um, specs. Let's see. Specs Hydreigon to Landorus. T T with max HP Landorus. Specs Dark Pulse is 59 min, so it's probably Scar for Zemu if Hydreigon. As she brings in his uh, Gren on it. Uh, probably to get a spike up, or if. Because he's walled by Hydreigon, unless he's Protean, which he could be. He could be Scarf, uh, and he could just go for U-turn or Spikes here. If he's Ash, he'll go for Spikes. Um, but I don't think he's Ash if he brought it right in. And yeah, yeah, it goes right for the Ice Beam. Does 68, so that's probably Scarf damage or Z-move. Um, let's see, what's... I mean... Hydreigon's already chipped to the point where it's knocked out by plus one Victini if he is the Z move set. Which, like I said, I think he is the Z move user on the team. Uh, so he doesn't have to risk Focus Blast later. So Karen's, even though he's down, he's in a really good position already. He gets free setup with his Victini on Bulu and Scizor. He can also set up kind of on uh, Torn as long as it's not Z move. <coughs> And he could also, he eats one Earth Power from Heatran, but he probably doesn't want to set right up on that. But yeah, it just brings in Zam. Um, I guess he has to hit a blast here unless he's HP Ice. He could be HP Ice though, just because Zygarde is a pretty big threat to Karen since Landorus is his only answer. Um, but yeah, if he has HP Ice, he'll go for that. If not, he'll go right for the Focus Blast. Um, but yeah. I mean, Zam's a pretty big threat to Googly as well, since Scizor is a Mega Evolved it. 
mega evolved yet so it's not really taking those hits very well um but yeah like i don't see too much of a way googly could win this he's just gonna have to make plays i guess bulu's a big threat to karen but at the same time like he is a halucha which can set up on bulu i mean torn's a pretty big threat but like lele and zam can just kill that shit or he's in halucha um so i guess he that covered scarf as well as a double into or as well as a switch from googling to bulu i guess but i guess he's confirmed scarf on googly side um i guess he, he i mean when your dark resist is protein grand it's tough i mean he's just bringing lele here i think and yeah like that was this is kind of whack <laughs> this is pretty whack i'm not gonna lie like he could just bring in lele and throw off a moon blast honestly i like that play a lot since if he's able to weaken the heat trend that's really nice for him he goes into zam again okay i guess googly was just like making a play are we sure am i sure that's on specs only del double calc on halucha uh how much does that do to halucha the standard sets scarf does okay it is wait what wait that is specs i'm stupid i'm stupid never mind so he a yeah he was just slower probably on his lucha because i was like confused for a minute because this is that was pretty whack uh but yeah if victini has set up he could go for it here or he could wait till later if it is set up he just kind of wins assuming he hits his blast on heatran all right let's see oh he just goes for it now which is pretty smart honestly but he turned really does not take much from that um i mean he knows it's a bulky heat trend based on that damage grassy terrain he doesn't want to eat a toxic though but yeah googly doesn't give a shit but honestly if he set up there you kind of just lost so that was kind of a whack play but like there's not much you could do about it i guess um but yeah karen can just go for a psychic here he has no reason to go for Focus Blast, unless he wants more damage on Scizor, but that's not really needed for much. Uh, cause he can just kind of like, if Scizor comes in here, or Bulu, which are like the only two things that can come in, uh, he just could sack something and then bring in his Victini and set up and win the game. So once again, the prep on Karen's bar has been on point, like, even, like, even though he's two down, he's definitely winning this game. Like, I don't see much of a way Googly can win. But yeah, like Zardwai last game, Victini this game, it's just been really good for Karen. I'm surprised Googly didn't bring something to help counterplay that. Gets the crit, doesn't matter because it still kills. Um, it's still killed without the crit. But that, I think, yeah. But um, that did a lot. He must not have much spadef on that Bulu. Because that would be doing like fifth. Well, never mind. Zam's the Zam's strong, but Bulu does not take that well at all. Um, I mean, you can just psychic again, or you can like sack or double. Because if Googly stays in here and sacks his Bulu, the only thing he can bring in is Scarf Landris. Uh, he's kind of forced to U-turn. But yeah, Karen has just just has to be very careful of when he sets up with his Victini. And it was confirmed that he was set up Victini um, when he went for Focus Blast. Wait, Karen's talking in chat? You can do that. I thought you like, could, uh, whatever. <laughs> um, let's see. But if Googly keeps up the pressure on the Victini and makes appropriate doubles and doesn't put himself in a position to where Victini can set up then he's in a good spot especially with rocks up it's in range of a lot so yeah he just goes high drag on here forces him to hit a focus blast I think uh so, but yeah he just goes for it if he missed and Zam died there um I 
that might have been game actually. I don't know. But yeah, he had to hit that blaster, I think. Brings in Scizor. If this is set up, it's kind of a problem. Um Hmm. He can go. Oh, he just goes for folk. Oh, that does a lot of damage. I didn't know it did that much. I'm gonna be honest, I did not know it did that much. Man, Zam is so strong. Definitely like best mega right now. Probably tied with Mawile. Like, damn, it's just so strong. Well, that's game. Because he can bring in Lele here. I'm surprised he didn't wait to calc to see if that killed Vic. Oh, he probably just wants to get the terrain up. But he can go for HP fire here. Psychic probably kills it, though. Um, so, yeah, if you just Psychic here. Yeah. I think that puts you in a good position. I don't know how much Vic was taking from Nock. I guess, yeah, I guess that's actually really smart on Karen's part because now he doesn't have to risk the Focus Blast because Knock into Focus Blast, or Knock from Scizor into Focus Blast miss on Heatran, Heatran will be able to kill it after with Earth Power. So that's very smart on Karen's part actually uh, to chip down the Heatran so he can just kill it with Stored Power later. Because now after Rocks, I think it's in range. It's, it's definitely in range of Terrain's up. If he hits the Psychic... Uh, I, I think it's a roll to kill. I think it does kill though. Um, but yeah, Googly's forced to pick one here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is Karen gonna be able to set up though? Uh, he has a. Hmm. The only thing he can really set up on is Boo, I think, or Scizor. Hmm. But yeah, I think Karen. I think Karen's just gonna click Psychic here. Um, because if he's able to hit on the Heatran, like I said, he has not to risk the blast later, which could loosen the game if he misses. Even though Victini does have more accurate focus blasts. Um. Hmm. What's Googly gonna do though? I think he's calcing damage on something they can go into after uh, or maybe just try and see what the Lele is but yeah I think I think Doc recorded this like in the same video as Tace's game versus Ojama so I'll do that probably eventually but um but not on the same thing as this so he sacks Bulu finally makes a move um Gets the grassy terrain up, which I guess prevents setup from Halucha, which is pretty smart, honestly. Uh, brings in Landers here. Hmm. Landers can't kill Lele, though, with the terrain up. Hmm. This is interesting. I guess he didn't really have any other options. Well, he, he could have just gone in Bullet Punch, so that was kind of a whack play. Like, that was a really whack play, honestly. What was that? Yeah, like Googly, I'm pretty sure he's just like a stall player and he can't really play much else that well. Like, I don't really understand that play. <laughs> like, that was whack. That was really whack. Um, cause like, Lele just bopped Landers there. <laughs> cause like, he had no reason to switch out. Landers couldn't do shit to it. But yeah, Scizor is forced to go for Bullet Punch here to knock out the Lele, but that gives, that lets in Victini, I think that's game. Or he can, hmm, I guess he's forced to go for the Victini win, right? Because you either sack, Lele, there's no way you sack Victini here. Um, but, or he goes Victini, I guess he calced it, I just don't know how much knockoff is doing a plus one defense Vic, but scissors don't really run uh, attack anymore. So it probably eats it. Yeah, I guess plus one defense, 65 base power because it's team move coming off of no attack. Isn't gonna do too, too much. Victini is really good bulk overall. So if he just goes for the C Z celebrate here, that's game. Yep, goes for it. Let's see how much knock is doing. Yeah, that does Jack. Especially with terrain up, that's really helping him. 
So yeah, that's game. Assuming stored power is able to kill the um is able to kill the the heatran. Uh, he can try and go heatran here to get. I think because I think that gets him more leftovers recovery. But it, Karen Chakal can make sure that stored power kills Scizor because then he could go for that. Just because, yeah, yeah, it goes into heatran just to see. Because I think you get more lefties this way because you protect and focus blast still kills, but sword power definitely doesn't now. So he's forced to hit another focus blast. But this is where that focus blast chip from early in the game really comes into play. So that was a really smart play earlier on Karen's part. Yep, knocks him out there. It's raised accuracy anyways, so I think it's like 80 something percent if I'm not mistaken. All right, but that's game. So Karen takes this 2-0, which is really good for him. Uh, he brought really good teams against Googly both games. Uh, and that just paid off for him. Yeah. Uh, Googly played this one kind of questionably. But yeah, thank you all for watching.